Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! I feel like I haven't really showcased fire in its entirety. Like even when I made that all fire deck before, the coin flips failed me. So I thought I would make a true blue, well, true red fire deck here, known as the torch deck. See the double colorless energy, so you pretty much know what that's going to be associated with. So you got this version of Charmander to gather fire, also the one for 20, which is nice. You have no choice on the Charmeleon. <laughs> this is the only one you've got. Uh, Charizard, Energy Burn, Fire Spin, you know this dealio, a good co combo with uh, double colorless energy. So that's... I got I, I got both of these actually, just, yeah, it's not... <laughs> it's, it's the same card, same level, it's just different pictures, the promo thing. Uh, Growlithe, also, pff, Growlithe works with double colorless energy. Aaron running. I can use that to pull trainer cards out of the deck, which should be pretty handy. Also, regular Ember. Discard one, you know, the dealio with Ember. I also got this Arcanine, good for double colorless to take down. Flamethrower, discard one. Three for 50. And take down this, because it's got 100 HP, you can use that quite a few times. So, yeah. Uh, Magmar, pretty staple. For the versatility of the fire deck. Moltres, also a pretty big staple for the fireness to pull out those fire cards, and maybe I could attack a dive bomb as well, but you know, it's a coin flip and I'll probably always get tails, so who knows? 100 HP is pretty respectable though. Also, uh, fighting resistance, keep that in mind too. Fighting resistance on the Charizard, wherever there's flying, there's fighting resistance, so keep that in mind for. Uh, Facing fire decks. Trainer cards are pretty standard. Energy removal, I'm addicted! I admit, I'm addicted. <laughs> Energy retrieval, because the fire discards. Uh, Professor Oak and Challenge for the draw power, as well as Pokemon Trader to pick out stuff. I didn't use Breeder, because there's only one evolutionary line that's stage 2, and with all the draw power, chances are I'm gonna get the evolutions as I go pretty quick, so. And Switch, because a lot of things have high retreat costs. If you look at, uh, our canine, three retreat cost, Charizard, three retreat cost, yeah. So that is the torch deck. Let's see if we can win and get that coin. We might need a cootie for the finale. So there's a couple fighting members that I could definitely utilize flying Pokemon against. And Imakuni will by far be our toughest opponents. Impossible, or near impossible to beat. Uh, I'm gonna go, I suppose, Magmar first, Growlithe on the side. Mm, flip. Energy removal. Ooh, that's actually, uh, this could be a quick game here, because Rattata there has got low HPs, and next turn I could be, uh, smoke screening. He's gonna bite. Oh, there's no... There's no bench Pokémon! Oh, that means I win! Sorry, dude. <laughs> so yeah, that's how you would play in the tournaments. <laughs> it's nothing personal, I just gotta get that trophy. And in this case, it's a coin. <laughs> it also speeds up the video a little bit, too. Joshua, let's go. Water versus fire, but fire has a lot of attack power, so... Ooh. If he pulls out Staryu, like, actually, wait, wait, does he use a slapping Staryu, or... Or was it the strange beam of Staryu? I forgot. Oh, it is the slapping Staryu! <laughs> um... So, we're gonna definitely want to do some challenges here. Just in general. But, uh... The thing about it is that we gotta get something besides just the Charmander here. I think I will attack with the Charmander. Because it's gonna be like a, a, a double knockout of sorts, where he's gonna double damage my Charmander, then I'm gonna pull out another Charmander and attack, yeah. So we're gonna put that in play. I'll surprise him with the Moltres, or, and just kinda leave things as is, and Flame Tail. Uh, it's just kinda unavoidable that some sort of double damage knockout is gonna happen, so I might as well do damage with it. Yep, there it is. Double damage, Zaparoo. And that poor Charmander gets KO'd Aru. But Charmander number two goes into play. And then I surprise with another Charmander. And. I wonder if I should 
put Moltres in. I don't know if I really need to at this moment in time, because I might want to... I don't know. I might want to save that as said surprise. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I mean I'm, I'm decent fire-wise right now, you know, energy-wise, so it's just a thing out that I might get some sort of nice deck thinning effect. And we got the bubbles coming. Oh wait, oh that's right, it's not that other, okay. <laughs> it's not that version of Krabby. So he's gonna call for family, put it on the bench. I'm gonna energy removal that, of course. And I suppose go on the Magmar Flame Tail. Because the Magmar has the trickery of the smoke screen, as well as the possible poison, so that's always a plus. I'm not really too concerned about him filling up the bench because, yeah, I, 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 I'm pretty sure I've got the attack power going here, so... Oh, may, may, oh shoot, maybe I should have actually energy removal that. Because mm. I thought about saving it, but then when I thought about it a bit more, it's like, he might get another prize card on me, but at the same time, I'm going to get a prize card right back after that anyway, so maybe not. <laughs> maybe it doesn't much matter, because there's Magmar. And, oh, that's that could be a possible Charizard impending. Yeah, he doesn't really have much to go by here. So, I might just very well be able to finish him off with Magmar. Uh, Smokescreen will do absolutely nothing to whatever he puts up out next, because it only works on the active Pokémon they have. And since I knocked out the active Pokémon, it's... yeah. <laughs> and Professor Oak's definitely going to give him some goodies, but will they be good enough goodies to handle the fire? Hmm, it's Kingler. But that's not really, uh, it's not much of a HP increase. <laughs> uh, that flail could be an issue, but we're gonna do that, and we really don't have much of a choice but to cause damage to it, so probably should. Actually, you know what I should do? Put Moltres in play because it's not weak to water. <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> and now we're gonna go smog. And Tails fails me, but that's okay. Uh, he'll be able to do 60 damage with the. No, wait, no, 40 damage with the. Oh, whoa, 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 you're not attacking with the Kingler Flail? Interesting. Interesting. Is it because you're focusing on the other Kingler for the future? Maybe? In any case, I should probably Pokémon Trader into Charmeleon, so I can get that Charizard... ...eventually. <laughs> there you go. And hope for a head flip this time, because there we go. Because then, if he doesn't switch out Kingler, it's going to be a knockout by the end of the turn, then I get a free shot at whatever he puts in next. So, there we go... let's see what goes on... oh, he's not, okay. So that means free shot for me. So if he puts out the Kingler, that might be worse off for him, actually. Oh, that might have been a mistake. Because, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna probably do a decent amount of damage to that. And Charizard's also up, but I guess it doesn't much matter then, since I got Charizard, just take the last prize card with one more energy card. And Poison hits, though, so uh, he'll be able to do 60 damage off of the Magmar with the Flail. So, oh, maybe not. He's <laughs> dealing off some of that. And okay, he's gonna do 20 then instead. <laughs> That's fine by me. Cause I'm just gonna go switch to Charizard anyway. And call it a game. <laughs> Fire spin. Da 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 ba da. Victory! Yeah, the Charizard with the double colorless and it's just stacking on the fire can do quite a lot of sweep if you just keep building uh, fire energy on one turn by turn. So, yeah. You can also you combine that with Magmar to do stalls where you power up said Charizard. But anyway, Nicholas, up next. Shuffle, shuffle. Boil in trouble. And. Nothing for me. <laughs> Well, I mean, I did have seven cars, but they didn't, you know, basic Pokémon for me. It's like goldfish without a pair. Uh -oh. I think I might have to go Professor Oak on turn one, depending on how things end up here. I don't want to do that, though, because I'd end up discarding one of my two Charizard. And uh, with that Magnemite getting powered up so quickly, that could be an issue. See, the magnetism 
could... Yeah! Yeah, it's all about group attacks with his deck. I'm gonna go challenge, though. See if I can get a basic energy removal. I'm definitely gonna energy removal that. For one, for one thing. Put that on there. And... I don't want to risk losing the game to some sneak attack. <laughs> so I'm thinking I really should Professor Oak. And thus I did. So it should be fine, because I'll just get a new hand in general. That's uh, iffy, actually. I mean, I did get Arcanine with that, but it's not really the sort of setup that I was looking for. Well, maybe it'll be okay. But as of right now, I can't really do much of anything, so... <laughs> End off the turn, and he can't attack with the Magmite now, thanks to the energy removal. And speaking of, we shall do that. Put that on there. I wonder if I should do Aaron running instead of attacking with the Ember. I just might. Because then I could just take take down the whole field when I put out Arcanine with the double colorless. Hmm. So I think I'm gonna go Aaron running. Will it work? Nah, it didn't work anyway. <laughs> That's alright, we're, we're okay here. <laughs> and I just need to do the sweep. Well, there's another double colorless. There we go. So even if it gets removed somehow, it's, yeah, it's... The sweep has begun. So I'm not using Flamethrower just to ensure I'll have the energy, even though it's going to cost 20 to myself. But unless he's able to do 60, that ain't going to happen, yo. <laughs> so we're just going to... Oh, challenge. That's nice. So we're just going to go and take down a way to victory. Just to keep my energy going there. Did 20 more myself. And there you go. Wait, it was 50, not not 60, wasn't it? Oh, whatever. It doesn't much matter, does it? <laughs> and that did not work out in terms of the coin flip, so I just flamethrower and win the game. And that's how fire can work. Woo! <laughs> so this deck's been pretty speedy so far. I definitely appreciate that. And Mitch is up next. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> um. So we definitely want to go Charizard if we can help it. But will we be able to? That is the question. Because you know he can two attack my uh, critters pretty quickly there, or even one attack my critters depending on the situation. Uh, well, I'm. Should I assume that Charmander is gonna make it through? Because I really want to get the Charizard for the Fighting Resistance. This may be too much of a risk, but we'll see. Is he? He might have double colorless and two plus power, and then victory. Kangaskhan. Eh, fighting energy, so he's not using double colorless. That's a good sign. And. <laughs> Alright, we're good then. At least for now. Ooh, challenge. I mean, Bill. Alright, so we've got some basics now. I'm gonna put that in play. And double colorless. Yeah, we're not gonna flamethrower, no matter what. But that's better than if I were to just attack with the Charmander outright anyway. Because I got more HP, more attack power, nice cheap energy cost in general. And... Uh, hmm... Hmm... I think... What I should do is that, then Pokemon Trader Charmeleon back to the deck for RK9. And we put RK9 in play and use Professor Oak. How does that sound? I think that sounds pretty good if you're asking me. Um, so yeah, with this now... I mean, yeah, it's, it's kind of a waste to do this for 10... 10 points of damage, but the idea was more to get Charizard in play for all the fighting resistance more than anything, so he can just do scratch damage with other stuff. It's it's more of his fighting Pokemon that are the the biggest threat, I guess you could say. Like Dizzy Punch there, even with maximum coin flips, is only 20 out of the whole shebang there, so two more challenges. And wow. Just kind of getting all the evolutions now. Ooh, Moltres! Um, 
probably should energy removal that Machop, just for the future in general. And then Moltres. There we go. See what we get out of it. Maybe we can get all four? Probably not. So we got three though. But the fourth. Oh, yeah, three. <laughs> but the fourth, we didn't know if it was coming. And we're done here. So, as of right now, the Charizard can only attack every two turns because I wanted to get Charizard out very quickly rather than powered up on the sidelines. But I only did that because of fighting resistance and stuff like that. So. It was just more about that, more than the attack power, like, rapid attack power anyway. Obviously, so... <laughs> and... Down there... Wipe out the Kangaskhan in one hit... And now he's in trouble. <laughs> not, not that he wasn't already in trouble, but now the thing is that with the fighting resistance, nothing that he's got... Oh, Mr. Mime actually might make a difference. Neutral damage, don't apply weakness and resistance, so maybe Charizard ended up being moot, in a way. Uh, heads? No heads. So no corkscrew punch for you, mister. Uh, that corkscrew... Oops, that corkscrew punch is a 2 for possible 60, so that could be... Could be something that could cause ire to the Charizard, but you shall see next turn. <laughs> oh, macho, well, that, hmm, plus power for what? That's just ten more, I, I guess. I guess maybe it's a little helpful because maybe you might, you're gonna go into Mod Champ later for sixty, perhaps. I don't know, I'm just trying to think about what he might be going for. <laughs> and no Machop, Agonizing Thrusts, got some nothings. So yeah, I guess I'll just keep spamming fire energy on Charizard then. And now I'll be able to actually attack two turns in a row because I put the, the fire on it thusly. So he's probably going to put out something that's, got, that's much weaker. Yeah, not the Machop. And you can go ahead and corkscrew punch, I suppose, but it's not quite Charizard destructive. And Charizard will go down the next turn, but not before I get a fourth prize card with it. <laughs> so as you can see, that, that was pretty effective, even though even though I didn't really have the setup I wanted for Charizard in general. Oh, Mr. Mime isn't even... Ah, interesting. Then that's going to get energy removal, and I might actually be able to get another attack with Charizard in. Or should I just go to something else? Like, go to the Arcanine, because Char uh, Charizard's using a poop ton of energy. I probably should, actually. <laughs> They're going to do that. And a Rainbow. That's alright, I suppose. It's going to knock it down to 40, and it doesn't make much of a difference versus my critters. And we're done here. So, I know, you seem pretty happy about that, but you're not going to be happy when I put out uh, our canine soon enough. So, just you, know, you might want to take a closer look at my field here. I'm actually kind of counting on him to knock out Charizard one of these days, but maybe he's not gonna. <laughs> maybe he's just gonna power up his his sideboard there and call it a day. <laughs> Actually, bench, not sideboard. Why did I call this sideboard? I don't know. Retreat, Arcanine, and actually, wait. Before I fling, take down <laughs> just to ensure that I can knock out whatever he puts out next. Because I want to make sure I have all the energy. And there we go. Yeah, sideboard is like a side deck in uh, various trading card games. So yeah, with Hitmonchan's maximum energy, there it doesn't. Um, I mean, if, excuse me, with Arcanine's maximum energy, it won't, uh, won't do uh, Hitmonchan's 70 HP there any favors. And thus, the sweep continues. Four for four. One more for the coin. One more for the coin. <laughs> Alright, it's the toughest one yet. Imakuni, the ultimate duelist. <laughs> so he does have water Pokemon, which could cause me ire. But we shall see how much ire it causes. Six prize cards for the ultimate battle. Toad. 
<laughs> uh, Firefetch. That could do a quick leak slap, but will it work? No! Because it's a really weird attack. It only works 50% of the time, and you have to wait two more turns to get energy cards for that. Um. Hmm. I'd like a Growlithe, please. Thank you very much. There's Pokemon Trader. That could be useful <laughs> for said Growlithe. There we go, I passed way by it as I was mashing through the buttons. And... Smokescreen. So now, as long as I keep smokescreening, chances are he's not gonna be powering up Farfetch'd. Probably not. He might, though. This is Imakuni. <laughs> Drowsy gets a little powering up there. Uh, maybe then I should go for the smog instead. Eh. Because I thought maybe I could uh, put the pressure on him to win the game relatively early, but... Hmm. Now, the way that this deck is working is somehow working... Alright, maybe I'm just playing faster than the uh, Wigglytuff base deck, but yeah, I think, I think I'm just playing faster in general. Uh, I'm gonna energy removal that Hypno. And Smog. Doesn't matter what the coin flip is, it's gonna be a knockout on the Farfetch anyway. And the other Farfetch comes off. Best of luck with the Leak Slap! Oh, we went Pot Smash, okay. I was gonna say the, the Pot uh, Leak Slap, but you yeah, had surprise double colorless energy. Um, put that on there. Put that on there. I wonder if I should trade for a Charmeleon. I'm already doing it, so I, 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 I guess I'm not wondering, it just happened. <laughs> I'm really mashing the buttons fast here. And nice, I got the poison. We might just do the retreat to do a heal, because, you know, flying Pokémon, low to free retreat costs. So, ooh, he doesn't seem too happy. Yep, he did the retreat. So, wait, what? Put that... Why don't you put the Psychic on the Farfetch'd when it... When you could do Prophecy to possibly choose something better for yourself with that same Psychic... It's, 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 it's Imakuni. <laughs> <laughs> and Professor Oak. I could use the Gather Fire to bring up the Charmander as well off to the side, like if Magmar gets in trouble with something, but... Uh, we shall see... I mean, I'll probably put more most of my focus on the Arcanine or the Charmeleon that I've already got there, but for now I'm gonna Smog. And nice poison. So, just basically trying to keep the pressure on him since he's in an awkward spot. And maybe... We can win before you need to take all the prize cards. I wouldn't count on it though, but maybe we can. <laughs> and he just, just keeps getting more critters. Uh, Psyduck's getting that removed. Mm, yeah, Arcanine Smog for the maximum damage. So now... He's probably realizing, yeah, that Hypno is not gonna live much long. Well, not gonna stay awake much longer. Ooh, Golduck, that could be an issue, because the energy removal properties, as you've seen uh, from a certain other deck I made. Put that on there. I should also probably just do that in general. And I'll Moltres Surprise next turn, but for now I'll just use a Smog. Doesn't matter what the coin flip is, actually I could have just went Smokescreen just to probably speed things along and avoid the coin flip with details. <laughs> actually, I don't, maybe it wouldn't have been faster, because that... Uh, animation for the smoke screen takes a little while. Hmm. Hmm. That might be worthy of speedrun examination. But anyway, <laughs> I'll put that on Charizard and Smog. If he knocks out Magmar, he knocks out Magmar. I've got two bruisers waiting in the wings, including a uh, Arc uh, Charizard that isn't quite powered up yet, but I got the Arcanine in the meantime. The Charizard's got so much HP that it's can tank a lot of stuff. And there is said expected KO. Behold! <laughs> I guess I should just flamethrower it. Probably, yeah. And just to make sure I got enough energy though for the future, I'm gonna do this. Let's put that in hand. Well, actually, maybe I should take down. Because I could power. Like, I keep powering up Charizard then if I just take down. Uh, no, that should be fine, actually, because even if one gets removed, then I, I still can just put another fire energy on it. 
So, yeah, I'm hungry, Snorlax. Pokemon Flute to pull Magmar back. Wow! You really want you really want something that powerful back on my side of the field? <laughs> Put that on there. Flamethrower. Let's keep up keep up that pressure. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Accidentally popped out my headphones. <laughs> <laughs> they caught on my elbow. And fire energy. That will do for the sweeperoo. Slowpoke. I'm still trying to pop them back in here, but... <laughs> I'm just reading stuff as I'm doing it. Eat. Food counter. Sure, sure, you do that. I will do another flamethrower. And... Uh, guess, yeah, I probably should just... Wait a second. I'm trying the math here. <laughs> because of the issue of the food counters, our canine will take 50 damage. So yeah, I think a flamethrower would be fine. Just zan, it should be fine. <laughs> And gas attack. Well, Pokemon power to stop working for what exactly? What has a Pokemon power that you'd want to use the goop gas? Not Moltres. It's the, I already used the Pokemon power. Mm. Yep. Might as well keep doing the same. And it, uh, even even with the eating, you know, you did two eats instead of an eat and then a rollout, so that's not a uh, victor victorious move there. Look, look who wins that coin. <laughs> that will do. That will do. Woo! It's kind of funny. I used the Snorlax coin, but he used the Snorlax. <laughs> And Imakuni has been busted! All five opponents defeated for a streak of 50! Woo! Well, current clear streak is 10, but I mean, I defeated 50 opponents. Please come back and challenge again soon. Since you've gotten so. Uh, 50. I said so. Since you've gotten 50 consecutive wins, you get this special coin! Domudrio coin! Woo! Happy day! But that took too long! <laughs> Five more to go on the second page. You like it? Please use it for your future card battles. I will eventually. But for now, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I go back over to the GR challenge machine.